We've all been there where we want a specific drop from a monster, whether we're an Iron Man or it's just worth a lot of money and we really want a specific drop. And we've checked the wiki to see exactly how rare it is to find out how many we have to kill in order to expect the drop. Well, I'm here to tell you that everything is not as it seems and I'm here to explain why. Let's take Fire Giants, for example. A rune scimitar from Fire Giants is 1 out of 128, meaning that in every single kill that you get, you have a 1 in 128 chance of seeing it pop up on the ground. The easy misconception is that if I kill 128 of them, I should get a rune scimitar, right? Well, no, actually, that's not really how probability works. Each Fire Giant is independent. Meaning that if I kill 50 and I don't get the rune scimitar, the next drop chance for a rune scimitar will still be 1 in 128. Simply put, you're never guaranteed to get the drop, so the percentage of getting the drop in 128 can never ever be 100%. So now I know naturally a lot of people are thinking, okay, well, if the chance is not 100%, which I'm sure a lot of you probably already knew, what is the actual percentage of actually getting the drop they want if they kill the monster as many times as the drop rate? To figure it out, we will need to do some simple math. Don't worry guys, it's not that bad. First, let's find the odds of not getting the scimitar, which would be 127 out of 128. Next, we have to take the quotient of this number and put it to the amount of kills that we want to get. In this case, we want it to equal the drop rate, so we're gonna put it to the power of 128. So now our equation looks like 127 divided by 128 in parentheses to the power of 128. If calculated properly, you should get a 37% chance. Now, we calculated the chance of not getting it. Now, in order to find the chance of it actually dropping, we take 1 and we minus 37%, and we end up with 63%. Now, this does not mean that there is a 63% chance that you will get one scimitar, but it means that there is a 63% chance that you will get at least one scimitar. This equation will work for anything and will always be the same. Let's try it for getting a Bandos Hill in 512 kills, which is the drop rate. 511 divided by 512 to the power of 512 equals 37%. 1 minus 37% equals 63%, the exact same that we had with the Rune Scimitar from Fire Giants. We can use the same equation to find out several cool probabilities. Like for example, what are the chances of a person getting an item if they kill twice as many as the drop rate suggests? Let's use the same equation, but double the amount of kills we get from 128 to 256. So now if we kill 256 fire giants, we now have an 87% chance of getting the rune scimitar versus our old 63% chance if we only killed 128. Now of course we can use the same equation to look at 3 times drop rate. So now if we kill 384 fire giants, there is a 95% chance that you will receive the rune scimitar. Now again, these probabilities will work for any monster and any drop rate. Again, we'll get the same numbers if we ran for the Bandos Hill. I hope you enjoyed the video today and learned something new, but just remember guys, the next time you kill Dagonoth Rex and in 128 kills you don't get that Berserker Ring, just remember it's not as common as you think.